I'm going to prophesy these eight things over your, over your life tonight. God showed me these eight things. You ready? You're called to live on the mountain. Somebody say live on the mountain. Number one, God's going to guide you. He's going to bring guidance and revelation to you. Just like Moses received the commandments, you're going to receive divine instruction to chart your path. No more wandering. I decree and declare guidance and revelation for you. Number two, clarity of vision. You're going to be elevated above life's noise. Your vision is going to become crystalline. And the presence of the Lord is going to be undeniable in your life. I prophesy this to you tonight. Day by day, you're, you're, you're going to live a different life. Day by day, you're going to wake up with clarity of vision. And if you don't have one, I, I, I prophesy clear vision into your life tonight. Purpose. Purpose. Somebody say Purpose. Number three, enhanced perception. You are going to be free from earthly distractions. You, your spiritual hearing is going, to be, is going to be attuned to the very divine whispers of God. Wigglesworth said a thousand times bigger on the inside. Well, if you're a thousand times bigger on the inside, you should be able to hear the faintest whisper of a giant that's living in you. So there's going to be, there's going to be, there's going to be an enhanced perception. The whisper of the, of, of the Lord. Because you're a son and a daughter of God. Romans 8 says those that are led by the Spirit, they're the sons of God. You're not a pauper. You're not a stepchild. You're a son. And see, when, when you walk as a son, the devil knows. Angels know. You know. And watch this. God already knows. He's just waiting for you to recognize who you are. He's like, we've already, I've already paid this. Number four, God's going to amplify your voice. Say, God is going to amplify my voice. Your declarations are going to carry weight. They are going to echo across valleys and reach distinct lands. What do I mean by that? There are places in, in, that are valley areas of your life that your spirit man is going to begin to speak to that are going to have to be elevated. You can't, st you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't stay down there any longer. And then your voice is going to reach distinct lands. You're going to be in rooms. And your voice is going to be heard in places where without the favor of God, you would have never even gotten into. Amen. Touch your neighbor say, I'm going places. I'm going places. Say, my voice is going places. See, God's going to put you, put you around people in rooms and they're going to hear your voice and they're going to see the distinction of the anointing upon your voice. 
That's why you can't fail when you put in the bid. Because your voice is different from everybody else's. Hallelujah. Number five, God's bringing you into a sanctuary. Uh, somebody say sanctuary. sanctuary. Like David, you're going to find refuge. The mountaintop is going to become your fortress of solace and strength. I decree and declare over your life tonight that the weariness is broken. You're being strengthened by the Spirit of God. You're being strengthened to overcome. Amen. And you're going to live in a fortified state in the mountain of the Lord. Amen. Number six, times of transfiguration. I prophesy over you experiences, moments of divine glory. Some may say glory. glory. You're going from glory to glory. You're not going to recognize yourself in six months. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Somebody's about to get a Holy Ghost facelift. God's about, God's about to. <laughs> you watch a man online. God's given you a supernatural Holy Ghost facelift. Number seven, abundant blessing. From the mountain of the Lord, resources are going to flow abundantly, meeting every one of your needs. I, take, I, I attack that spirit of poverty. Amen. That spirit of lack. That demon that's been attacking your finances. Devil, you are a liar. Take your hands off of our money. Take your hands off of our careers, our businesses. Off our, off our business endeavors. I bind, I, I, I bind... That, that demon that, that is sucking away your finances and your blessing. Every time you're turning around, something breaking in your home or on your car or in your body. The devil is a liar. I speak abundant, but just lift up your hands right now. I speak abundant blessing over you, over your finances, over your family. In the name of Jesus. If you receive it, shout, I receive. I receive. Number eight, dominion and influence. Somebody say, dominion and influence. Dominion and influence. You are going to operate from the mountain and wield power and influence, fulfilling. The mandate that was given in Genesis 1, 28. You have a purpose. You've been called to dominion. You've been called to have influence. Just put your hands right on your belly right now. God's going to give you dominion. He's going to give you influence. I, I, I'm tired 
of people say, well, Brother Charlie, you know, I just got to settle in my age and, you know, I've had a good life. No, the devil's a liar. Well, you know, Brother Charlie, I'm just not old enough. I'm not educated enough. I don't know enough. The devil's a liar. You've been called to have dominion. You've been called to have influence. I don't care what kind of degree or what, what, what college, Ivy League college they went to. They don't have anything over the mind of Christ. Well, I might get passed over because, you know, I I didn't go through this certain program. No, you went through the Holy Ghost program. You've been filled and saturated with God. Hallelujah. And you are above and not beneath. You are the head and not the tail. You are called to have dominion everywhere that you go. Amen. Hallelujah. Dominion in the doctor's office. Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Well, this is what the, the diagnosis is. Yeah, but I have dominion. Hallelujah. See, you should have the power yes. of the Holy Ghost of life in you so strongly that when people are even physically, you listening to me? Physically, they're bearing under the burden of, 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 of demonic spirits of infirmity and disease. But when they're around you, suddenly they, their whole body just comes into adjustment, comes right into alignment. I remember a story that Brother Hagen used to tell. About how there was a man, a, a friend of him, who, a friend of his that was a pastor, that was that was a diabetic and was on insulin. He said, "As long as you're around me, he said you're not going to have anything. Your 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 insulin levels are going to be perfect." He said, "Well, brother Tr- brother brother Hagen, he said I don't know about that. He said I do know about that. He said because I got faith for you and for me." And so the whole time he just ate whatever he wanted. And, and, and he said, Brother, Brother Hagen, I don't understand. My insulin levels are perfect. He said, well, that's because that's you're living under the canopy of what I carry. Amen. And so he said, now, you have that same dominion when you go home. He said, he said just keep, keep a hold of that. And, he, and of course, he, you know, he, not of course, but he went home after a couple of weeks and, 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 and it, it regressed back into the, into the way it was before. And he said, well, Brother Hagen, why did it go back? He said, because you got to get the revelation that I carry. Amen. Amen. Whatever revelation of the Lord you have is what you're ultimately going to live out of. Now, there is, that, um, there is that anointing that you can come underneath a covering. And when you're underneath a covering and you're, uh, you're connected into a ministry, you get the blessing of that. But, but, but you got to remember that ultimately God has called you to not just listen, but be a doer of the word and take the revelation for yourself. That's why Paul said, I laid my hands upon you. I prophesied over you. Now stir up the gift of God that is in you, that it was given to you by the laying on of hands. See, we got people in the body of Christ, they got laid hands on so many times, their heads are going bald, but they haven't got nothing. And I'm going, and I'm going what's wrong with you? Getting another prayer line. And just, well, just bop me on the head. And you can feel it when you're praying for some people because it, like, will hit you back. And you'll just get blessed. And you'll say, well, I'll just take it. You didn't want it, so I'm going to have it. (laughs) And then you got others that are so hungry that even the leftovers that are in the room, they'll stay and grab it. Listen. I feel the anointing tonight. I've been in meetings before where I just stayed on the floor. I had to make the ushers carry, drag me out by my feet. They said the meeting's over. They start flashing the lights like we're in a club or something. I still ain't moving. I'm just out. You say, why didn't you get up, Brother Charlie? I was still collecting everything that everybody left over in the room.
See, when you live in that, you'll get the blessing of what others just left behind. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands tonight. We're going to live in the overflow. You're going to have dominion and influence. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, go ahead and lift your voice tonight. Go ahead. Go ahead. There's some stuff that you need to start taking dominion over. There's some stuff. Who cares about the person on the right and the left of you? There's some stuff that the, that the enemy has been trying to bring death to, and you need to speak some life into. You need to begin to prophesy and proclaim, you're going to live and not die. I speak over this valley of dry bones. Lord, you begin to bring your breath. I'm going to prophesy. I'm going to proclaim. Lord, I'm tired of living out of my car. I'm tired of this apartment. I'm tired of my next door neighbor selling drugs. Devil, get out. Stay out. My neighborhood's the most blessed. We're the most favored of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's oil in this ground. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Je Jesus. Death can't live in this home. Life in Jesus Christ. Blessing in Jesus Christ. Prosperity in Jesus Christ. Oh, my, 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 my. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Who's with me tonight? Glory. Dominion, influence, blessing. Prosperity, Zoe life, life, somebody shout life, somebody shout life, 